Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share with you my October beauty favourites. Um, it was kind of a quiet month makeup wise. I wasn't well for the first two weeks maybe, or the middle two weeks of October. I've said that like a million times in my recent videos, but that obviously had an impact on kind of the makeup I was wearing and what I was doing with my skin and all that. So it's kind of a quiet month makeup wise and a couple of skincare items and a hair care item and that's kind of it really. Like there wasn't a lot going on just because there was nothing I could do to make myself look less crappy. Like I looked really crappy. Um, and yeah, no amount of makeup was going to fix that. So I kind of just went with it, just surrendered to the fact that I was destined to have a whole month of just, well not a whole month, but the time I was sick looking blah. Um, so yeah, I had, I was, it was two weeks I was kind of not well for and I was in work for most of it. I had a couple of days off, but I, you know, I was physically present, but my brain was not there. I really struggled. You know, I spent two weeks basically just clicking a cursor around a screen because I just, I wasn't productive and I tried to work through it and that made it worse and blah. So obviously as a result of all of that, as most of us kind of suffer, when we're under the weather our skin suffers and mine definitely did I kind of I was you know my nose was running so I was all wiping my nose all the time and so that was all dry my skin was generally just really lacklustre and so the one thing that I was using the most really the products I use the most throughout the month is the Origins Drink Up Intensive uh, Overnight Mask so this is kind of a thick creamy what the hell I'll squidge some out for you you see that? So it's like a really thick, um, creamy kind of mask that you put a layer of it over your skin and you leave it on and you sleep in it effectively. They say that you should put it on tissue off the excess and then you can sleep in it. I was just slathering it on and just sleeping in the hopes that it would do something and to be fair it did. It definitely helped with the dry skin around my nose um, and just kind of was a nice little pick me up overall. It smells so good. It smells kind of kind of peachy tropical fruity kind of it's just yum so um i i yeah i really relied heavily on that in the, the month of october and um, if this is something you're interested in trying i know that obviously we're getting towards um you know the holidays and christmas and all that kind of thing and everybody has gift sets out everybody everybody origins have a really good one at the moment which is a set of three smaller size i don't know how much smaller I think they might be one ounce this is a 3.4 fluid ounce i think they're one ounce tubes of um their three masks so you have this one there is the uh just their general moisturizing mask which isn't an overnight one so it's one that you take off straight away this one you leave on and their what is that word um charcoal their um charcoal detoxifying mask three little mini ones in a set for 25 pounds which i think is a really nice and it would make a really awesome gift for someone who's into their skincare so i think it's a really nice thoughtful you know i think we all go through times where one or other of those masks would be more appropriate or you could use them both you know if you're doing a big kind of facial thing use them all but for 25 pounds i think it's a really good way of trying you know trying each each of the masks to see which one works for you so relied very heavily on that for the times that I actually bothered to wear some makeup in October this this is amazing this is the L'Oreal absolute makeup remover iron lip so historically I had been using the uh, Longcomb B Facile you know 18 19 20 pound job in the little bottle this is about five pounds and this is easily as good um, Obviously the companies are linked in some way so it wouldn't surprise me if there wasn't a massive difference in the ingredients. I don't have a bottle of the Longcomb stuff to, to check and I don't think it's in my empties. I think I moved straight on to this. Um, but this is, this is really good and it's really cheap and it does the job. Um, it's, it says here it's non-greasy. It's a little bit greasy but these two phase uh, eye makeup removers always are. There's always a little bit of that kind of, you know, that, you know what I mean. Um, and I wouldn't use it for, for touch-ups if I was in the middle of doing my makeup and I'd screwed something up, I wouldn't use that, I'd use something else. But for taking makeup off at the end of the day, like eye makeup, waterproof eye makeup, all of that, it's fantastic. I'm really pleased with that and I will definitely be buying that again. Next up is a hair product. This is the Redken Clear Moisture Instant Polishing Prep. 
So uh, the description on the front of the bottle says uh, leave in cutting and entangling lotion for normal to dry hair. This is something that my hairdresser has used on me and did use on me probably one of the first times I went in to see him which is coming up three years now. Um, and it's just a really nice detangler. It's really nice for once you've washed your hair and you know you're out of the shower and you've just you know you've roughly towel dried it, spritz some of this through, it gets combed through super easy. Um, smells really nice, really clean. And I'm using this kind of a lot at the moment purely because my hair is in desperate need of a cut and colour and I can't uh, as it's timed out, the times that I'm free, my hairdresser doesn't have any space, and the times that he was free, I didn't have, you know, I was working or whatever, so it means that it's going to be the end of this month before I can have my hair done, which means I'll be three months since my last uh, appointment, which is a really long time, I normally go about eight weeks. So the ends are getting correct. I mean, my hair never looks amazing. You've probably noticed that throughout the videos. It never looks amazing. I'm just one of those people I just, I can't. When I walk out of the hairdressers, as I'm sitting in the chair, it looks amazing. Ten minutes later, it's just, it's back to its old. Like, it behaves in front of the hairdresser. It's like, oh, no, I'll, I'll be good. I'll be nice. Look at me. Aren't I pretty? And then I, I'm out of his eye line. God, dead. So, the ends. Anyway, God, tangent. The ends are getting dry and crappy, and they just need cutting and fixing because like, it's just getting messy. But this is, this is helping because it's certainly reducing the tangles. I'm using a tangle teaser as well. Um just to try and minimise any damage but I've really enjoyed using this and I you know I haven't used very much I've uh, I feel like I've been using it a lot but I haven't used much of the product so that's been a good one and then all I have left really is um makeup wise three eyeshadows and I need something to cover this or I'm going to blind you that'll do okay so this is one of those Urban Decay um I don't know what they called, they had, whoa, they had a name, but I don't know what that name was, but you know what I mean, the refillable type palettes. They're really expensive ones, you know what I mean. So, these are the only loose shadows from Urban Decay that I have, and the two that I have been wearing a lot, and I'm wearing now, in fact, because these are my lazy girl shades, are this one here, which is Virgin, which is my favourite Urban Decay eyeshadow. It's in the Naked palette, and it's beautiful, and Bust which is this one up here, which is like a nice kind of shimmery, taupey, browny, one of those, god there's stuff everywhere on this. So, virgin and bust, and typically I kind of put virgin, you know, from lash line to brow, and then this kind of smudged in the crease, and it's just, it's enough definition without being too hardcore. And then, my last one, this is, I feel bad about this one, because I have a few MAC palettes, a few full MAC palettes, and I went through a phase where I was really crazy buying as many colours as I could get and all of that, so this is one palette, this is my oranges palette. In this palette, in a little corner all by itself, right here, is Cranberry. I've had it forever, forever, and I never used it. And then I saw a tutorial by, she's either Liza or Lisa Prido, I'll link her below, I found her through Wildcat Makeup. She did a tutorial with this and with Half Baked um, from Urban Decay and another darker brown from the Naked palette. And it looked amazing, she has blue eyes and as I have blue eyes I decided I'd give it a try and it looked awesome. I posted a very blurry picture on my Instagram so if you follow me there you'll have seen it already. But I can't believe I'd never used it. Like, I can't believe this has been sitting in my stash all this time. And I just, I just never picked it up. So that was definitely a favourite for this month. Because it's that kind of gorgeous, autumn-y sort of colour. So, love that. And that's it. Beauty-wise, quiet month. But that was everything I loved this month. Um, November will probably be better because I've been wearing a lot more stuff. So, that was all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next month. Bye.